President Biden accusing the oil industry of profiting from the record high gas prices. That from an open letter to seven of the biggest oil companies, including ExxonMobil, Chevron, BP America and Shell. The president wrote that historically high refinery profit margins being passed directly on to the American families are not acceptable. Mr. Biden added that companies must take immediate actions to increase the supply of gas, diesel and other refined product. If not, the president warned, he is considering invoking emergency powers to boost America's oil supply. This comes as we're all feeling the pain at the pump. AAA reports the national average gas price is about five bucks a gallon, 50 cents more than last month, nearly two bucks more than last year. CBC's Kayla Tausche live at the White House. Kayla, first he put it on Putin. Now he's blaming both Putin and big oil. Well, Shep, President Biden is now asking major oil companies to explain why they haven't returned to pre-pandemic levels of refining and enjoying those higher margins in the process. ExxonMobil, for one, responded to the White House saying, we've been investing through the downturn to increase refining capacity, even during the pandemic when we lost more than $20 billion and had to borrow more than $30 billion. Overall, in the United States, oil refiners are operating at about 94 percent capacity, though the amount of oil they're capable of refining has fallen by about one million barrels of oil per day since the pandemic peak. Today, the press secretary said companies Hello, should increase you. gas supply at all costs for the good of American okay. consumers. Uh we see that as an important first step uh, in making sure that the oil refineries are doing their, their part, again, patriotic duty, in making sure that they're putting out capacity and they're not uh, taking advantage of a, uh, of, of a war uh, that is hurting the American public. Industry executives, I'm told, have privately provided some of their own tactical suggestions, like the White House investing alongside companies to reopen shuttered refineries, pairing refining regulations, supporting an existing oil pipeline from Canada called Line 5, and removing steel tariffs that have made drilling equipment more expensive. But other political options would seemingly clash less with the president's base, like Senator Ron Wyden. He made a proposal to tax oil companies' excess profits that he's shared with the White House. And Wall Street banker and longtime Democratic advisor Robert Wolf was seen leaving the White House today after having publicly advocated to suspend the 18 cent per gallon federal gas tax. All of that could come to a head before the high traffic July 4th holiday and before President Biden travels to the oil rich kingdom of Saudi Arabia.